Hey everybody, it's Phoebe, and it has been like a week since I saw you last, so it looks like I'm getting at least a little better with this. Let's make sure I'm focused this time, since last time I was not. And that was the problem for like the first half of the video. But, aside from that, I have a really cool unboxing for you guys today. Today we're going to be doing the book bath box. And let me just tell you, the people who run this company are insanely sweet because they asked me if I had allergies and they actually made sure that the, this box didn't have anything at all that I was allergic to, which goes above and beyond the average subscription box company, which as somebody who has anaphylactic allergic reactions, that really meant a lot to me that they went out of their way to make sure that the box was catered to me. So I don't know if they do that for every single box that they send out. I believe that whenever you sign up for your subscription, however, that they do ask you to list your allergies. So they do pay close attention to those things, which again, as somebody who has allergies, that means a lot. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and dive right in and I'm going to do this the same way that I did the last video where you're gonna actually get to see my facial reactions to the box and we're gonna actually just go through all the stuff together. And so you're just looking at the box. Opening the box, yeah! Let's see here, so the first thing I see on the top is this little card. Voila. That didn't seem to have anything on it. Hello. Can you see that it says hello? Hello. Phoebe, thank you so much for taking the time to review the Fairies in History book bath box. I hope you enjoy all the goodies, Winx, Mosa, and YT. So big shout out to them. Thank you guys so much for your little thank you card. I love seeing those inside my boxes. Then on top of that, we see this really cute little card. And this is better known as a spoiler card. And I don't read spoiler cards. Neither should you. Be surprised, it makes the box that much more fun. Also, I throw everything, so please don't take offense to that. It's just a thing I do. So here's a special note about our box with it on the side, and then it has little facts on the other side. The Winter 2017 Book Bath Box is an extra special one because it's based on an out of print book. It took a bit of extra work to secure enough copies of the book for everyone, but thanks to the magical powers of the internet, it happened. However, please note that due to the scarcity of these copies, some books will show mild shelf wear or remainder marks. I appreciate your understanding on this and I hope you enjoy this rare read. Small Acts, and then it has Gandalf the Grey's quote, it is the small everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. Small acts of kindness and love. For every winter box that it was sent out, Book Bath Box is donating $1 to, in other words, a non-profit bookstore and resource center in Portland, or Oregon? OR, I believe is Oregon. Thank you for making this possible. Discounts. Post photos of your box on Instagram, tag at bookbathbox, and use the hashtag bookbathunboxing tag. Three photos will be chosen to be featured on the bookbathbox.com, and the winners will receive a discount code for $5 off anything from Book Bath Box. Or post a blog review or unboxing video, mention at bookbathbox, in a tweet with the link, and you will receive a discount code for 10% off your next order at bookbathbox.com. Big mouthful, but definitely worth it. And I'm noticing that subscription boxes are more often, especially the smaller companies, are coming with business cards in them, which I've never seen before until recently. And I think that's a really, really smart idea. So Winx is the creator, and that has her email on it in case you need to contact her for any reasons whatsoever. Oh my God, the first thing I see is a candle. Mm, I love candles. Home and Hearth, there you go, Home and Hearth. And it is a white candle. White candle. And it looks really good, so let's find out if it smells good. Oh, it smells amazing. Can I make it a necklace and just light it on fire and walk around smelling this all day? Probably not, because the wax would drip out the side and go down my chest and burn me and scar me, and that would be depressing, but it still smells really good. We have worms. All the worms. Worms? Worms, anybody? Do you need worms in your life? No? Got plenty to go around, eh? 
Oh, it's a tea blend by Harney and Sons Tower of London blend. A fresh black tea. Da, 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 da. It's so pretty. I love how it looks. In all honesty, I love this color too. Next up in the box, it looks like we have some handmade bubble bar sugar plum fairy soap with a list of the ingredients, which is really awesome. And it says cut bubble bar into five or six pieces, use one piece piece per bath. And it's cute, it's like pink and purple, if you can see that through the reflective of the plastic. It's adorable. All right, following that, it looks like we have some more worms. Worms, worms, anybody? Oh cool, there's this really cool bookmark that it looks like you can color. It's definitely quality, it's like a cardstock, and it's actually a Society6 item, if you can read that right there. Last but not least, we also have the book, which is wrapped in like wrapping paper, like a um, tissue paper, which is a really cost-effective way to keep the book a surprise, which I love. Oftentimes, larger companies that have more of a financial capability to do so, they tend to put their books in bags, which, as awesome as that is, it can tend to be very costly for newer and blossoming companies. So this is a really cool way to keep it a surprise. Let's go ahead and dig on it. It's really pretty. It's called Midnight Never Come by Marie Brennan. It's a paperback, which I don't mind. I mean, I always prefer hardcovers, but that's just me. But paperbacks are still glorious, so long as they're well taken care of. And this doesn't have any damage to the spine whatsoever. Yeah, no damage on that spine. And look how gorgeous that cover is. How could you not love this cover? It almost looks like wings on both sides, which totally makes sense because it's fairies and history, duh. Let's go ahead and read the synopsis for this. England flourishes under the hand of Elizabeth I, last of the Tudor monarchs, but a great light casts a great shadow. In hidden catacombs beneath London, a second queen holds court, in Vidiana, ruler of fairy England, and a dark mirror to the glory above. In the 30 years since Elizabeth ascended her throne, fae and mortal politics have become inextricably entwined in secret alliances and ruthless betrayals whose existence is suspected only by a few. When the fairy Lady Loon is sent to monitor and manipulate Elizabeth's spymaster, Walsingham, her path crosses that of Michael Devon, a mortal gentleman and agent of Walsingham's. His discovery of the hidden player in English politics will test Loon's loyalty and Devon's courage alike. Will she betray her queen for the sake of a world that is not hers? And can he survive in the Machiavellian world of the Fae? Only together will they be able to find the source of Invidiana's power find it and break it. I don't know about you guys, but this book sounds really amazing to me. And I love fey folk, fairies, all of them alike. They're pretty much the same thing, just depends on what you'd like to call them. Tomato, tomato. Either way, I'm really excited to read this book. I haven't read a fairy book in a while, so this is gonna be a good read for me. Of course, as you can tell, I'm surrounded by books. So I have plenty of things on my TBR. I'm hoping to get to this one somewhat soon, and it looks like there is actually a sequel, if you guys can catch that. And it's called Marie Brennan in Ashes Lie. Marie Brennan is obviously the author to the book, and I, like I said before, am really looking forward to reading it. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it, a thumbs down if you do not, boo. Hope that you do like it though, because I wanna know if you want me to keep doing unboxings, because as much as I enjoy them, my channel is really devoted to you guys. Thank you guys again for watching, and if you're not already and you'd like to be, go ahead and hit that big red button down below and subscribe to give a phoenix its fire. Or, as I'm liking to refer to it, to become a phoenix family member. So don't forget, hashtag Phoenix family member on Instagram if you want to get my attention because I love talking to you guys or just DM me DM me on Instagram you can find me at the reading Phoenix on Instagram reading underscore Phoenix on Twitter which I never use thanks again for watching and I love you guys so 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 much have a great day and thanks again for watching love you guys bye